In this video, I wanna show you how to set up Firebase in your Flutterflow project. Now, if you don't know what Firebase is, it's just a platform that provides you access to a bunch of different services, namely a database, user authentication, that's if you want to have users in your app who can sign in and do stuff, sign out, analytics, crash monitoring, and much, much more. Now, there's two ways to add this into your project. Either you can add it in right when you start a new project, or you can add it in later. So if you wanna do some designing first and then add in Firebase later, you can do that too. But we're gonna add it in right from the beginning. So let's create a new project. Let's say it's a tacos app. We're gonna create new. And you see, right when we start here, we get the option to set up Firebase right here. And that's what we're gonna do. One thing to note about this package name is that this package name will identify your app on Android and iOS. So this must be unique. That is to say, you don't wanna have the same package names across different apps. Okay, so let's just click next step. Here, we need our Firebase project ID, and we get that by going to Firebase and setting up a project in Firebase. So you can go to firebase.google.com or just Google it, and I'm already signed in here, but you wanna go to your console right here. So console.firebase.google.com if you already have an account or sign up, and it'll bring you here. Then we wanna add a new project and add your project name. So ours is tacos. Next, you can decide if you wanna add Google Analytics to your project. So that's just if you wanna have data about how your users are using your app. If you do, check it. If not, you can continue. We're not gonna set it up for the purpose of this tutorial. And now this will take a minute to set up our Firebase project. So now we're in our Firebase project for our app. And the next thing we've gotta do is we gotta give Flutterflow access to this Firebase project, because right now they don't have anything to do with each other. So come over here to these gears and go into users and permissions, then add a member. And we want to add this Firebase at flutterflow.io. And we want the role to be an editor. That's great. Done and add member. Now we need to give Flutterflow access to a few other things in our Firebase project. So come over to advanced down here on the right, advanced permission settings. And this brings us into our Google Cloud console. Now we need to find that Firebase Flutterflow email we set up right here. And we need to edit principal. And we're gonna add two other roles. The first one is cloud functions admin. The next one is a service account user. And you might have to scroll down a little for this. There we go. Great. That's all we need in the Google Cloud Console. So you can just exit out of that and go back to our Firebase project. Okay, the next thing to do here is to add our database because we just have a Firebase project, but Firebase includes a lot of services. So we need to actually add the database itself. Adding a database will give us the ability to like add collections of data and add users and things like that. So let's create a database right here and we're gonna start in test mode here. Now, before you launch your app, you're gonna wanna update your security settings, but this just allows us to get working faster. Next, we choose our cloud Firestore location. Now, you're gonna wanna set this where most of your users are. So wherever that is, and it'll default to a location near you, this is fine for me. Okay, we're almost done. If you're gonna be using custom functions, you need to enable billing. And so you come over here to functions and you say upgrade project, and then you can purchase a plan. You can see all the plans here. We're not going to do that right now, but once you need to do that, that's how you do it. So we're going to cancel out of here. And the last thing we need is we need our project ID. Cause if you remember, that's what Flutterflow was asking for. So we're going to go into our project settings and here's our project ID right here. So we're going to grab that. We're going to copy it and we're going to go back into our app. We're going to paste it in and then just click connect. And there we go. We get our green check mark, so it's connected. And the last thing to do is to auto-generate our config files. Great, our Firebase is set up. Now, we can do two other things right here. We can enable authentication, that is if we want users, and then we can create a user collection. What this is gonna do is it's gonna automatically add things to our database like a password or an email for our users. One other note, 
We have enabled authentication, but there's a few additional steps to get authentication set up in this project that we'll take a look at in another video. Down here, we can set the initial pages for users in our app. Right now, we don't have any, so we're just gonna say start building. And that's it, we've set up Firebase in our Flutterflow project. If you wanna go look at that connection, maybe you wanna generate the config files again or change the project ID, you can come over here to our settings and then we can see our Firebase right there and we can see the connection.